Hi. About an hour and a half ago, I was injected with a solution of, start over. Hi. About an hour and a half ago, I was injected with an element Hi. About an hour and a half ago, I was injected with a solution that contained the element technetium, element number 43 on the periodic table. And technetium has some very interesting qualities as an element that many other elements do not have. To demonstrate this, I thought I would use this Geiger counter here to show you a little bit about this property of technetium. Geiger counter measures radioactivity. And radioactivity is a process that occurs, a phenomenon that occurs when an element decays or breaks down. And as it does that, it emits radioactive particles, high energy particles that are smaller than the original particle itself. I'm going to turn on the Geiger counter, which can detect those particles that are being emitted, those energy particles that are being emitted. And right now I am pointing the Geiger counter around and you can hear the rate of the clicking indicates how much radioactivity there is. And that's the background radiation of the room. I'm now going to take the Geiger counter and point it towards me. And you will hear what you hear. Luckily, it doesn't seem like there is, is as much in my brain. But, okay, so clearly you can hear that I am radioactive. I have another kind of Geiger counter here, and this is a uh, less sophisticated Geiger counter, and it also detects radioactivity. And so I'm going to turn this on. It makes kind of a nice chirping sound. Now that's the background radiation. When I put it up to me, there's the chirping sound. It's like there's a little birdie in me. So I have become radioactive due to this injection. Now this radioactive activity will not last very long because for one, technetium has a low half-life. So it will start, it will decay half the amount of radioactivity in, I, I can't remember, I think it might be six hours or something. But what's interesting is that my body is also flushing out the radioactivity. Excuse me. So I have here a bottle, and for science posterity's sake, I have uh, collected a urine sample in the bottle and uh, we can test the urine sample for radioactivity. Again, there's your background radiation. And you put it up to the urine sample and it's off the chart, basically. That's pretty hot urine. I have another, the other unsophisticated Geiger counter. Again, there's the background radiation. Oh my, that's screaming. That's a singing birdie. So, thus ends my demonstration of technetium in the body and its radioactive properties. Thank you for watching.